Kathy with Art Zone. I'm going to show you our Santa belt painting. This one does not have any stencils. I think you can freehand it just fine. You can see on mine, I've actually already started the background. <clears throat> the background is that Santa suit, and I've simply taken my red and made two stripes and left the center um, open. Now, you could leave more open than this. Can I see over here? I have a lot more uh, open than I did on my example. I've done one coat of my red so far. I'm going to do a second coat, and I'm going to use my bigger paintbrush for this. When you are adding this on, make sure that you are going up and down, not taking your brush strokes back and forth. That's going to show up and it's going to look messy. So I'm going to go up and down with it. This is my second coat. You want that first coat to dry. So once you get your first layer on, you can walk away and come back um, about 10, 15 minutes, let it dry, or you can take a blow dryer to it. If you take a blow dryer to it, make sure that you're not holding the blow dryer super close to your painting and that you have it on a low to medium, uh, not high heat. If you blow dry this too fast, what's going to happen is that very top layer of your paint will dry, but the underneath does not, and then it starts to crack on you. So you don't want to blow dry it too fast. When you are ready, go ahead, get that second layer of red on there. Now, before this layer dries, I'm going to add a little bit of black to it. Uh, give it a little bit of antiquing. So if you look here, see how there's some black mixed in. I'm not going to clean out my brush. I'm going to take that brush and I'm simply going to dip into my black, but I want it to be more of a dry brush technique. So I'm going to take that black and I'm going to go either on some newspaper that's beside my painting um, and I'm going to kind of wipe it back and forth until it starts to do a little bit more of, um, there we go, a little bit black but not completely solid. Now I'm ready to go back and add some of this and I'm just going to take it once again up and down. Every now and then it's going to make some real nice thick areas and some thin areas. You decide how much you want in there. The good news is if you put too much, you can always let it dry and then paint some more red back on top of it. But you really want to let it dry before you decide to try and add that red back on top. Otherwise, it's just going to make a little bit of a darker red instead of covering it up. So now that I've added my black into it, I'm ready to do the puffy um, white area. So I'll go ahead and clean that brush out. I still want my big brush for this. Once again, you're going to want this to dry. Blow dry it or walk away, come back. Uh, make sure it is completely dry before you start this next process. I'm not letting mine dry, so you're going to see what happens if you don't let it dry. What's going to happen is that my white is going to mix a little bit with my red, and it's going to have pink to it. So, you don't want that. Let it dry a little before you do this next process. I'm going to take my paintbrush uh, in my white. This time I'm going to tap the paint into it. Be nice to your brush. Don't go too crazy. And I'm actually going to take it over into my red a bit, especially because on this example, I think I made my white stripe a little too small. So I'm going to go into my red and fix that. You don't want it to be too thick. If you have it too thick, when it dries, once again, it's going to crack on you because the paint is too thick. The top layer is drying, but the bottom layer is not. Take this. If you go too crazy, as you're tapping your paint in, it's going to create some little white splatters onto your red suit, and you're not going to want that. If that does happen, once again, let that dry and then paint over it. 
See how it's mixing with my red now? And it's going to create a little pink. You don't want that. Since this is an example, I'm going to let it go and keep adding. Now, once this has been tapped in, once again, let it dry. After it is dry, and this one's going to take a little bit longer because this uh, puffiness is a little thicker than um, the sides of your Santa suit. Once that has dried, then we're ready for another layer. But this layer, once again, I'm going to add a little bit of black to it so that it has um, some different shades to it. It's not these black lines. It's all the little grays that you can see here. So this time I'm going to go into my white and if you've still got a little bit of paint to the side that was wet, <clears throat> I could simply go right into it and pick some of that up without getting too much. And now I'm ready to start tapping again. Once again, if you get too much paint, uh, too much black into your white and you're not happy with it, let it dry and then simply paint over it again. This paint has dried, so now I dipped in. I'm going to dip into my black. I'm going to get some on, and I'm going to go over here and kind of wipe it around. So I don't have too, too much black as I'm doing this. So now it's a little darker than I really want. But that's okay, because we'll let it dry. Then we'll add more white on it and kind of take some of the gray out. Now I already have this process dry. So I'm going to put up a new one that's ready, but I want you to finish it, get it to um, as gray as you want. I'm going to flip this over to the other side and we'll talk about your next step. So here, That same process, once again, that we were taking our white and tapping in some of the gray. You decide what you need. The great thing about paint is that you can always fix it as long as you let it dry. Now you can see I've already gone on to the next step. I already painted my black Santa belt. That will probably take you more than one layer. So just simply take that black across that canvas wherever it is you want. You can see in this example I've made the belt just a little lower than the middle. So if you look close it's just slightly lower than the center of my canvas. You'll have to layer it up, let it dry, and then we're ready to start on the belt buckle. I like to take my paintbrush into my yellow and just simply draw that rectangle. As thick as you want. You can fancy it up. I don't know. Maybe Santa's a rodeo star and he has a rodeo buckle. You can always add some more interest to it. As you can see, this will also take some layering, letting it dry. Really take, take your time to try and get those little edges. go ahead on my second layer so let that layer dry on my second layer I'm actually going to add white into that yellow and that will provide a little bit of shading and your goal is not to over mix it so now I'm adding white into it Be 
then I'll even go right, I'm not even cleaning my brush, I'm going straight into the yellow again, and I'll add some more yellow into it, and it's gonna get a little more streaky this way. So then it has a little bit more aging to it. And you'll want that little buckle in there. So add it, whatever size you wanna add it to. And once again, you'll want to go back and forth between the white and the yellow until you get it um, not see-through. So take some time on that. And your last step. Your last step is simply outlining a little bit here and there. So I like to start with the puff of the Santa suit. Um, you're going to want your thinnest paintbrush. You probably want to practice before you go right at it. Um, once again, if you make a mistake, it's, it's okay. We can always fix it. But here is my thinnest paintbrush um, that I will use for it. So when I get my black, it's not going to hold a lot of paint. And then I like to start with the edges of it. Hopefully all of this is dry. So give it dry time before you start doing it. Um, I like to think of it almost like a really loose C. And backward C's, maybe some little U's. Try and be random with it. So here I'll put a little bit on there. If your line breaks, it's okay. Don't go back over it. Leave it broken like that. Let it fade out. I'll come back over here. Now I'll put some in and out. It's really a trick to uh, just let the lines flow and not try and go back and make them like a coloring book outline. Don't go back and try and fix little mistakes because in the end, once you get it all on there, it might not actually look like a mistake. So take some time adding all those little bitty lines. Like I said, you're just taking it um, and just adding it here and there. There's no right or wrong on this. You can do it barely touch that canvas and then you'll be ready to come down to that belt buckle and you'll notice where I've outlined it but once again when you're outlining it you've got to be okay with your lines breaking back and forth and not trying to make it like a coloring book when the belt buckle goes over the black you can't really outline it with black so then I took some white and I tried to add it to those areas. So it's a little bit of outline um, in those black areas with the white. But then right down here, I could do it again with the black. I do notice that on this particular belt, I haven't added any white to it. So I think I'm going to do that. You don't have to, of course. But here, I will take this. And you can see my line's going to break at times. I'm going to leave it. It's okay. You might even want to come through here and just add a little bit, um, kind of like a wrinkle. It's really something you might have to practice is just being okay with inconsistencies. Because in the end, that overall effect is what we're going for. Have some fun with it. Um, any mistakes that you see, let them dry and then go back over them. Thanks for painting with me.